daughters are so special that when a male marries a female he is reminded constantly that who you have married is the special child of someone dear to someone so we tell the husbands that when you look at your wife don't just look at her as your wife that's not the only title she has she had a title before that which was more dear and more valuable what was it she is the daughter of so and so she also has her own family that loves her and respects her so do not disrespect her do not abuse her like they say don't make her cry you know when my wife cries i always tell her i'm supposed to i'm not supposed to allow you to cry she says i cry out of joy mashallah okay that's good that's a good sign so if you're crying out of joy and happiness alhamdulillah but if you're crying out of you know sadness you're stuck there's no way forward wallahi allah has heard the cry of a wife and a daughter if you take a look at surah al mujadala named after a woman who came through in order to present her case to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam where the husband became disinterested in her listen to this and i inshallah i will end on this note i tell you very interestingly there was a woman known as khawla binti thalaba radiyallahu anha so what happened to her is she was married and mashallah you know a pretty beautiful woman next thing expecting she has a child and when you have a child what happens subhanallah people forget that you've now born children you've you've graduated into a new level of you know motherhood now and so on you will not be the same girl you used to be 20 years back things have to change perhaps you may change in so many ways you become wiser and perhaps you may even become a little bit heavier may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease she complained because her husband started losing interest or showed disinterest she, he was not interested and he started saying whenever she was trying to get him get his attention he would say you just like my mother man it's okay you know you just like a mother you just like my sister and so on she went to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam crying weeping complaining what do i do this man is saying this to me he he refuses to touch me and at the same time he is the one who impregnated me he gave me the children he is the one who did this 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 when i married him i was in tip top shape and so on my mothers and sisters i just want to pause for a moment to tell you that that does not mean that when you have given birth you should just lose yourself no go back you will be able to retain a lot if you work on it may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us whether they are sit ups leg ups whatever you want to call them they work trust me they actually work dedicatedly so don't use a hadith in order for you to throw yourself you know to the side no work on it you will feel good by the will of allah like i said do it for the right reasons going back to this narration so as she's complaining do you know what happened the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam obviously it's a difficult situation what do you say you need to convince the man verses were revealed qad sami'a allah qawla allati tujadiluka fi zawjiha wa tashtaki ila allah indeed allah has heard the argument of the woman who has come to you complaining to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah has heard it and then he gives the response and it's a long uh, set of verses where allah speaks of the punishment of those who say those type of statements and how special and important the woman is you don't just say these words so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to make the correct decisions in life أتذكر يوما كنت تعالق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسري